One of the things I, I just want to reemphasize, because we mentioned it earlier, is the difference between single-sided markets and multi-sided markets. Now, single-sided markets, the customer is the user and the payer. That's a single-sided market. There are no separate users and there are no separate payers. You're it. Congratulations. You're the customer and you're going to pay for it. But in multi-sided markets, there might be users, but there also might be very separate people who are payers. And the example we keep using is Google, because everybody um, around the world has probably had, at one time or another, been a Google user. And when you use the Google search bar, you're one side of a multi-sided market. You're the user, but you're not the payer. You're not paying for the product. But in reality, you're paying implicitly because there is another side. The other side are the people using Google AdWords to look for keywords. And in multi-sided markets, the company, your startup, typically cares about acquiring a massive amount of users and then figuring out how to monetize those users next. Google decided to go for millions and then tens of millions of users, and then the keywords came after. Now, depending on your investors, this might be their strategy. I tend to prefer uh, that we actually try to look for who the payers are as early as possible, but this is a question you might want to ask your investors. Do we go for lots of users and then say, ah, oh, if we get 10 million people, the revenues will come? Or do we want to look at both sides of the market at the same time? Again, if you're in a physical channel, my suggestion is you want to take a look at users and payers simultaneously. If you say your business is advertising based, some of the tactics are, how do you get to 10 million monthly users? How do you become one of the top five websites? And how much do the payers actually pay? Now, if you wait two years to find this out, you might have gotten 10 million of the wrong users. So your job in, is not only to talk to the users in a multi-sided market, your job is to get out of the building and talk to the payers because you have a hypothesis. An important one is how much will those payers pay for the users you think you're collecting? Guess what? If you're wrong, the time to know about it is now, not two years from now. And it's okay to be wrong because most startups, all you have is a series of hypotheses and it's really easy to get caught up in the passion that says, well, if we get all these people, obviously these people will pay us lots of money. But as soon as we get out of the building, that obviously might turn into maybe not. And so what we want to do is get the facts as quickly as we can and then iterate and pivot. And so don't worry if you're assumptions were wrong here on your revenue model, you just want to find it out before you start burning a lot of cash and building a lot of value prop around the wrong model.